So what we have here is we have GDP per capita over time, uh, 1960 till today. We can see Japan, Korea, the world average, and China. Japan clearly an example of a high income country. So we look at GDP per capita way above all the other countries, but way above the world. Uh, we can see much higher. Korea, definitely another example of a high income country, not as high income as Ch Japan. But look at China, China, huge GDP, but actually below the world average. Now it's getting closer, no doubt about it, especially here in the last 15, 20 years. Uh, but China, is it a high income country? I don't think so. Uh, in fact, you know, it's very much a middle income country. It's very close to the world average. So let's look at a little bit deeper in this. And so when you look at these line graphs, we have some things that we have to explain. Is, and we'll do that later on in this particular section. So first off, we can see Japan was industrialized, had a higher GDP per capita than all of the other countries and the world average here in the 1970s. So it was already ahead of the game, so to speak. It was already already a high income country. Why was that? Why is that the case? Further, we look at the lines here, really steeply go up in the late 1980s, and then again here in the 1990s, the early 1990s. So what was it in the late 1980s to early 1990s that caused this huge boom in GDP per capita in Japan? And we'll definitely explain that here later. But then something changed. The late, 19, like late 1990s, uh, we see a sudden decrease. And so subsequently, since the late 1990s, the Japan economy, the G Japan GDP per capita, has kind of gone up and down, up and down. And that's something that we think about. One of the challenges is it's very tied to the global economy. And so as the global economy goes up and down, so does Japan. We can really see that here in the global economic recession of 2008. Further, we can see an increase and then boom, another decrease. Uh, this here is the tsunami that hit Japan. Uh, and so these, these ups and downs, these wax and wanes are something that definitely uh, are, are needed to explain when we look at the economic history. Why? What caused these? Now look at Korea. We can see the industrialization definitely happened later. The GDP per capita uh, happened later than Japan. However, uh, since the 1990s, it has kind of paralleled and almost caught up to uh, J Japan in terms of the overall GDP per capita. Uh, further, we see a similar pattern here. Um, so Japan, downturn. Uh, uh, South Korea, downturn. Uh, Japan, downturn. So South Korea, downturn. And so once again, South Korea, as it's increased its GDP per capita, it's also been a little bit more pegged to or controlled by the fluctua fluctuations in the overall global economy. We'll see in China, not so much is that the case. Uh, another thing about Korea you'll note is you don't see really that much of an impact from the tsunami that hit Japan. So once again, you can see how that really is characteristic of Japan. And of course, the tsunami, that makes sense because the tsunami came to shore in Japan and not Korea. Finally, let's go down to China. We can see very late to the party, very much lagger in terms of economic growth. And we see that here, uh, 2000, 2005. It wasn't until the late 2000s until we see uh, that increase here. And it's actually catching up to the world world average. Further, China, really not as much affected by the global economy as those other Asian countries are. Now, that might be something that is in China's future as they become more linked up with the global economy. But one of the things is the global economy, as it was going through its recession, it still we still needed clothes. We still needed irons to iron our clothes. We still needed simple electronics. And so the global demand for those things were still quite high. So they weren't as affected by things like cars. You know, when you have an economic recession, cars, purchases of cars are going to go down considerably. And so in Japan, where their economy is heavily attached to the automobile in terms of manufacturing, you can see that uh, impact is more greater felt.